Spoiler warning! I'll be talking about the 7th episode of Ruby Ice Queendom in this video. If you haven't seen the episode yet, then I suggest you watch it first and then come back here, okay? Okay. This episode was really crazy. It was weird, it was fun, I really enjoyed every second of it. The fight scenes were just amazing. This episode really showed us why is being a badass leader and a queen. And the more screen time she gets, the more gorgeous she just looks. I really just love her outfit so much. Why see John as having a cool sword, but is unable to lift pretty funny to me. And the first thing they realized is that anything they do in this dream world stays permanent as they see the very same tree Yang obliterated in episode 5. So the next thing they do is they try to stop the White Fang from attacking the train cargo and the animation just goes wild here. It's very smooth, John looks very cool, but the mixed direction sign they saw earlier moved because they changed something in the world. An event was prevented. Everything is in a loop other than the things our main characters touch or interact with, and the train being attacked is a common reoccurrence in this world. When Ruby and the others were about to enter, the gates wouldn't open. They yelled out to Weiss hoping she'd react to it, and she did. But the thing that really interested me is the fact that it was a metaphor. It was literally Weiss opening up to them. I love John calling her Ice Queen here. One, it's because she literally is called that. And second, it's the nickname they gave her. So that was a pretty nice touch there. She later saw that it was Ruby and the others who saved the cargo. Even she was surprised that John was there. It was a miracle in her world. The very first cargo that made it back safely. And it was all thanks to her friends. Even Weiss herself was confused as to what's going on. So obviously, she is being manipulated by her father, talking about the responsibility of being a Schnee and whether she was worthy of carrying Big Nicholas's will. And also, Whitley is also there to just annoy her. We also get to hear a new insert song and it sounds really good. John enters the cell where his teammates are and Pira immediately leads him to a relic. He pulls it out and a bunch of adorable little Weisses come out and literally attacks the guards and turns them into peaceful objects. Despite being Weiss's childhood, they wrecked everything. So, okay. So there's a third relic in which when John took it out, Pira looks concerned. And ever since then, her concern was literally leading up to the final minutes of the episode. So I'm guessing there are four relics, because they represent Team Ruby. There was a red one which is for Ruby, that was destroyed in, uh, in the last episode. There was a white one in Weiss's chamber, and in this episode they gave us a yellow relic which is for Yang. And I'm guessing, somewhere around the dream, there is a black relic that represents for Blake. So this is where the episode starts going crazy. I thought because they had the little Weisses, Nora and Ren who unexpectedly talked, things were gonna be okay. They were able to fight the guards, the Weisses around the area causing havoc and running around, but after a few minutes or so, everything turned upside down. There were Titan Weisses in the area, and the robots who were now peaceful decided to be evil again, but not the kind of evil that serves Weiss, but I think just pure evil. Cause you have to remember, everything made in this world came from the Grim Nightmare. They were like zombies, which really interested me even more. Like there are rules in this world. One wrong move and that world could fall into chaos. Cause when John and Pira were surrounded, Y saves them. But she also activates a giant statue, in which causes more trouble for Team Ruby. But I'm also concerned for John who was literally in front of the Ice Queen. And the episode ends as Weiss calls judgment onto them. And that just made me excited for the next episode even more because how are they gonna get away from this? This is their last chance to save Weiss because if they fail, then there's no going back. Like I also love how Pira, despite being in a dream world and it's not literally Pira, she still cares for John, which, you know, is pretty cute to see. And I really can't wait to see how the next episode plays out because obviously it's gonna start with an epic battle. So I am going to be excited for that. So if you'd like, you can check out my 7th episode review of Licorice Recoil or you can go and watch my 6th episode review of Ruby Ice Queendom. The choice is yours. That's all for today and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya!